Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I will be talking today about ways that you can successfully achieve keto, lazy keto, dirty keto, it don't matter what type of keto, you can definitely achieve this even if you don't have enough money. Basically this guide is for people that are broke. <laughs> broke people's keto. So the first thing, if you want, I have a list here guys, <laughs> because it's so much to remember. So breakfast, right? Typical lazy keto, dirty keto type of breakfast could be cheese, eggs, bacon, sausage, anything like that, right? Let's say you're the type that wants um, bacon. You don't have the money for bacon. You don't have the money to go out and get it. It's not in the fridge. So how about sausages? Why not sausages? But then you also don't have the money for sausages and it's not something that's in the fridge currently right now. What's the next best thing? Bologna. I know some people hate bologna. I know some people find bologna very disgusting. But guys, a fried bologna along with your egg and whatever you decide to put next to that egg and avocado, fried bologna tastes so good. And even if you don't like bologna because you've had bologna just the way it is, you can have it fried and it's freaking delicious. So instead of having bacon, you can have fried bologna. And instead of having sausages, you can have fried bologna. It's about one gram or two grams of carbs, I believe, for one slice. So that's not that bad. Think about it. Next thing that we could talk about is cheese. Now, if from my experience, um, shredded cheese is not that expensive. Um, depending on where you go, like sometimes um, ShopRite is in my area, so ShopRite will often have shredded cheese in like little packets for like $1.99, so it's really not that expensive. But if you're the type of person that still can't afford the $1.99 bag of shredded cheese, if it's mozzarella, maniera jack, cheddar jack, um, cheddar cheese, um, you can go for American cheese. Now, American cheese is a little bit salty to me, but depending on what I'm putting it in, I don't notice that. So you can have the American cheese that melts, or you can have the American cheese that don't melt. Um, the American cheese that doesn't melt seems to be cheaper from experience, what I noticed, but I don't like that one. I like the actual real one that actually melts. My fiance hates that type of cheese, the one that don't melt. <laughs> but if you can't afford to get shredded cheese or mozzarella cheese, any type of cheese, you can always go for sliced American cheese. It is cheaper, again, depending on where you go. So that is an option that you can use if you're the type of person who likes cheese in your eggs. Or you know you want to put you want to make a cheesy type of broccoli that works as well. Uh, the third thing that you can do is Ameri is um, sorry, <laughs> Dollar Tree. Now Dollar Tree has a whole fr frozen food section in the back, right? They have little meals and stuff in there, and I think they even have bologna in there, and they have cheese. They have stuff in there that you can pick through and go through and check out the carbs and see if it's keto friendly for your type of keto. So you don't always necessarily have to run to the supermarket and pay like upwards $20 for two to three items. When you can go to Dollar Tree and pick a few items and probably a whole week of keto meals for like $20 and I've seen it happen, no lie, I'm not lying to you. I've seen it happen, I've seen people on YouTube do this. Literally, if you type in keto, Dollar Tree Keto Hall, you will see people who's went to Dollar Tree and picked up a few items and they incorporate, incorporate it into their weekly meals. So give Dollar Tree a try guys, I'm so serious. The frozen food section and actually the aisles, you will definitely find a lot of keto related stuff that you can eat and won't affect your diet. Veggies, now that's number four. Veggies can be quite expensive depending on where you're getting it at. ShopRite and Walmart, from my experience, can sometimes have small bags of veggies for like $1.99. 
mostly shop right but <laughs> you can definitely use those get a stack up on a bunch of them if you need to and you can put them in the freezer and they'll be there for you for any time that you need to have a meal within the night so that can work out and you can also like store it in your freezer because I've had frozen vegetables in there for almost three to four weeks now and it's not that we don't eat vegetables it's just that we are a fan of broccoli and cauliflower so we kind of let broccoli and cauliflower go out first and then we eat whatever rest is left in the freezer so it's really good so like I said check out your local supermarket go for the cheapest bag of vegetables and you're gonna have your daily veggies inside of your meals number five almond milk you guys, I have decided to switch my kids to almond milk. And why? Because it's delicious and it's healthy. I had noticed that it's a few calories, it's like 80 calories for the thing of almond milk that I brought. And I got it from Walmart and it's the Great Value brand, brand and it's delicious, guys. I've had almond milk before from ShopRite and it's the ones that don't go in, it comes in like a little carton. I'll try to put up a picture right here if I can. And it's not that good and it's it was vanilla and it was sweetened and I did not like it. Like it's it stayed on the shelf but once you opened it, you put it in the freezer, didn't like it. The one that I brought from Walmart, I walked into the freezer section and I was looking for a type of almond milk that I could buy. And I'm also interested in cashew milk but I was looking for a type of almond milk that I could buy and I saw that they had their own brand which was great value so I'm like oh let me give this a try so then I picked it up and I was like I should eat two of these but then I'm like what if it don't taste good I brought it home and my fiance tried it he loved it the kids had it they loved it I drank it I loved it to the point that when it was done I was craving it so definitely 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 if you want almond milk get it from Walmart I believe I paid $1.99 for it. Um, it was delicious. Um, if I didn't say the correct amount that I paid, I'll look it up and then I'll let you guys know in the video or down below in the um, description box. But you don't, if you don't have a Walmart in your area, definitely taste test the almond milks within your supermarket because not all of them taste good and a lot of them can be very expensive. If you want to start off with almond milk, start off with the store brand because I'm pretty sure it will be cheaper, you know? Sixth, <laughs> this, <laughs> sorry guys. Okay, so the sixth thing that can help broke people on keto is cream cheese. So cream cheese, I pick up at the supermarket, which is ShopRite. I'm gonna keep naming the same supermarkets because that's what's in my area. So like the cream cheese that I pick is about $1.99. Um, very cheap, sometimes it's on sale for a dollar. Rare, but it does happen. Um, like I said, go with your store brand. It's the ShopRite brand that I buy. Tastes really good, can't tell the difference. Delicious. Okay, the sixth advice, that the sixth thing that I could tell you that you could do when you're broke on keto is store brands there is nothing wrong with store brand items like I refuse to pay a few cents or dollars more for a brand for a, um, like craft well craft is really good though but <laughs> I refuse to pay a few cents to a few dollars more for a brand just because I know of that brand like why the next thing that I could talk to you guys about to stay on keto when you're broke is seafood. Seafood, if you choose correctly, is not that expensive. Now, the other weekend, about two to three weekends ago, I did a shrimp nacho and it was delicious. Now, I usually go to the super, other supermarkets and a bag of shrimp, depending on the size, is like $20, $14, depending on the size again. So I decided that I was going to go to Walmart, and at Walmart they have different size bags, but I chose the medium-sized shrimps, and they were $5 for one bag. So I took that, and I was able to feed my family with it. So if you're the type of person you love seafood, but you can't afford seafood, you don't always have to... I mean, this one is kind of like a hit and miss because if you don't live next to a Walmart, you can't really find the bag of shrimp that I found. But shop around. Like, you don't have to necessarily buy the ex most expensive bag of shrimp. To be honest with me, I don't even... To be honest with me, oh my God. To be honest with you, I don't think I know what bad shrimp tastes like. But I've never had uh, sickness, food poisoning, or I've never had bad shrimp from Walmart. So if you have a Walmart near you, go ahead and pick up that bag of shrimp. I'll try to insert a photo over here. If you don't, 
then shop around because girl shrimp is expensive and seafood can be expensive if you don't know where to get it at eggs <laughs> eggs prices do vary from supermarket to supermarket um Honestly, I buy my eggs in bulk because, first of all, we're, you know, keto all in this family. And I um, need eggs constantly. My fiancé, um, I make him keto meals even though he really isn't fully keto. But he's more into, like, I think the whole, like, just meat and veggies kind of thing. So, um, I still make him my daily, my daily meals or whatever. But, um... Damn, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Eggs, yeah. So sometimes if I don't buy my eggs in bulk because I don't have the money for it. And when I mean in bulk, uh, Walmart sells like, I think, 18 eggs for like two something. I'm not sure about the prices. But I would pick up like three or four of those and we would literally eat that. And they would last us for like a good month. Three to four weeks or something like that. So if I don't have the money for that, I would get one carton of eggs and excuse me one carton of eggs is like probably like two dollars no like no more than two dollars two something upwards to three so if you can't afford eggs you could do that and get one carton or if you can't afford eggs you could either get the half a carton i've seen where they have six of them in there and you just make that work you know you will always find a way at the end of the day you know it's not rocket science you know you'll be able to figure out how to maneuver around with keto so definitely don't give up guys if you notice that you're running low on cash and you still want to lose weight definitely definitely look around shop around don't forget that they have these type of stores 99 cent stores now are getting like bumped up where they have food in there i've seen somebody go to a 99 cent store and they had produce so nowadays it's getting much easier for you to get food for cheap so if you can shop around in your area and figure out how you're going to plan out your meals if you want make a meal plan with your budget at that time and then you should be able to get going and get through as for me right now, we're not going food shopping until this weekend, so I'm going to make do with what money I have and what I have in the fridge to make out my the rest of my day. <laughs> it's Friday already. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or if you have any comments, please go ahead and leave it down in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I would love to hear from you guys. And thank you so much for following me on my journey. Um, I will have an updated weight loss video on Monday. And yeah, don't forget to stay beautiful, love yourself, and never give up.